Glad to see you're in good spirits, Figaro. In the face of such horror, I don't see that I have much choice. Now, how may I help you today? What are you selling? I sell anything and everything needed to cultivate your countenance. Ah. The best you'll find in Baldur's Gate. Certainly better than any dreck you'll pick up in Worms Crossing. Very good, sir. Oh. He's a clothing guy. Very good. Okay. And he sells some dyes. Okay. I still have this. Hmm. Now remember, fashion's a fickle mistress, so be sure to return. You got it, boss. Just, uh... Can I loot these people? So I can. Handbag. Oh, cool. a bloody page. Investigate the murders. Space hunt boots dimension door. That wears. People didn't stand a chance. Stone shock. I think that's everybody. Oh, unless <sighs> time to get going. All oh, right, quick save, and we saved her. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. She's still knocked out, and I don't know how to fix that. So. Um, investigate the murders. Enter 
Kundahalo's tombstones. We found a note in the killer Dolor's pockets instructing him to enter Kundahalo's tombstones with a passphrase. Seems the Ballist cult may be there. We have taken the serial killer Dolor's sick trophies, the hands of his victims. We can use these to access the Dreadlord's tribunal underneath Kundahalo's tombstones and find out how to enter the Temple of Baal. Where is that passphrase? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Somebody had fun here. Graffiti from before. I never thought I'd see it again. Why did it stand out? Well, I think I was the one who did it. I can recognize my own handwriting. How long ago was this? Years? All the time I spent training, hidden away from the world. I think. I think I must have wanted to leave my mark somewhere. Just to prove I existed. Even to myself. Okay. So, I don't really know... ...when the hollows tombstones... Is, that's a place. Right? That's, that's like a... It's like a place. Of some sort. Basemaker's Boutique. Maybe it's like uh, down this way. It is stand and deliver, little fig. Go. I think I like yours better. <laughs> you bellow like a true berserker. The commander said I only had to keep out bad ones. So you can pass. Wait, little girl, how do you know Minsk? I'm not a little girl. I'm a warrior. Okay. Even I could have told you. This was a silly thing to say. in here. Lord Rion Carinthin's home. If you hear about the vines, I've cleared them off the neighboring houses already. Can't promise it'll be the last time. The druid's away for a while. I'm just her son. And apprentice, too, for my sins. <laughs> Jahira has left you with some tasks while she was away, Jord. Minsk? 
she's not uh, away. She's gone. I'm sorry. And I am confused. She is not with us at this very moment, no. But she's around the city somewhere. What? You know where my mum is? Tell Ryan, quickly. Where my mum is? Eh? Make a habit of just letting yourself into people's homes, do you? My mother's not here, if that's who you've come to see. Eh, uh, Ryan? We know your mother is not here. She is traveling with us. Minsk? I... I don't understand. She was chasing down the cult for a lead to save you. If she's already done it. Ah, well, if Bu were to be technical, he would say that it is not Jahira alone who saved Minsk. It was this one here. She's... She's alive. Who are you to her? A harper? A friend, though maybe not so close as I'd hoped. She never mentioned you. Don't be too wounded. Up until this moment, she was missing. Presumed dead out in the Shadowlands. But she's Oof. alive. That word hurts Everyone! to hear. She's alive! Bring it's her alive! here so we can kill her. Hey, not bringing her here, I guess. So, let's see. Graveyard is there. We are going to go north ways. Right here. As if the plague crone is not already here, striding among us. Her power waxes. And soon the cycle will reach its end. Should you want it to, or otherwise. And then what happens? And then all will perish. Let death be your guide for what is behind death, but mark. I don't see anything. Hmm. 
Oh, there's a chest here. Fifteen, huh? So, why do we need to come in here? Ghoul, you're, you're bugging out. You're bugging out. Tribunal inside of here. Did we gotta read the tombstone? Alexander Rainforest, meticulous in life, mellifluous in death. Bugging out so hard. <laughs> Oops. It's like it's like this has to be something. Oh, is a button. The lock door has red text on it reading. All are weighted, all are embraced. None shall escape. See if we can do some. Oh boy. There's no, there's no way. There, there, we are literally unable to do that. The phrase sounds familiar, <laughs> but. We can't even roll a natural 20 and have it. Heard it work. Zacharias. Oh. Ballist Crypt. We spoke the past phrase to enter Kandahalo's tombstones. We should explore within to find the ball cult. Who's the correct past phrase to call tombstones and can approach a murder tribunal. So there was two ways to get in, I guess. We could have given the hands, which would have opened up the door, because we took them from Broheim. Or... Find out by pressing a button and walking through the thing. Oh, there's a save here already. Okay. I mean, we're not super hurting. Flaming fist. We're not super hurting. For, uh, for spell slots, I think everyone still has a decent amount. Another day, another dungeon. No desire. We're about like half empty on stuff. Who says what? I love how they took some phrases from old no Baldur's Gate games. 
No time to rest. Okay, so we're gonna give... We're gonna actually split... Actually, no, we'll just give... Have you met my hamster? Perfect. Have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. Loot. We got lots of those. Good too that I'm not really hurting on, uh, Wait, encumbrance. Does this lead anywhere? I feel like this is... It's less. Sixty-nine gold pieces. Nice. What a troll. Okay. Do full save. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, my dinner break. Six o'clock, which is perfect timing. Can you quit, please. Thank you. Let's change. All right, perfect. Perfect. So, while I was on my dinner break, I kind of realized something. We're like on our way to fight Oren, I feel like I should take a long rest. So, <clears throat> assuming I don't fight her right away, we're going to go in, into through that door. We're going to explore a little bit, see what's there, maybe get into a fight or two. Uh, then I will end up going back up and taking a long break. Rest, I mean. Because who knows, man? Who knows? Might, uh, might need it.
That which guards. That which watches. That which lurks. Hall of the Murder Tribunal. Have to keep going. Present me well from gifts thine own. Or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. I killed to be here and took the victim's hand as proof. A grasping hand. An offering vile. Enter now the Dreadlord's trial. <laughs> I was halfway expecting a laugh like that. Got that specifically from Hallow's End. Wow. Halloween event. Tribunal. Oh my god. How is Sarah? Excuse me? How is he here? upon murder's progeny child his most ill trusted zealots his faithful departed prodigal servants each returns to do his bidding eternally do past you brought this man low foiled his plot to become a god now you stand before him once again Oh, I was like, huh? Anchev. As you stood a statue, Stone Lord, a helpless ornament, your city changed, warped, became ripe for the plucking. I wonder if they got the same voice well, actor. You wriggled neath the city soil like the worm that you are. It will please my hamster to kill you twice, Saravok. You're as stupid as I recall. Man of stone, you were never more to my father than a stinging insect, irritating, but irrelevant. And yet, you still scrabble for his attention. You are unworthy of Baal's presence, let alone his trial. But for one purpose, you are fit, indeed. You will make a fine offering. To the murder lord. I will not tolerate impudence. This shall be your name. That was cool. Because Minsk has been in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, and the first one dealt with killing Saravok. They had special, specific dialogue, which, uh, that's so freaking cool. However, I want my character to, to 
be the one who approaches. Dude, I can't believe Saravok is in the game. I thought, like, we would hear his name and we would mention him and then, you know, that would be that and leave the pass in the pass, but he's literally in this game too. It's so funny because the whole of Baldur's Gate 1 was basically to murder him. And now, <laughs> it's like just a mini quest. Not a mini quest, it's like a small quest. It's a small quest rather than the full, like, storyline and plot. That is so cool. Way to go, Larian. They're knocking it out of the park with this, I swear to God. Light on my feet. <clears throat> Okay, let's do this again. Present me well. Uh yes. upon murder's progeny child I want to know his the dialogue most ill trusted zealots his faithful departed prodigal servants each returns to do his bidding eternally this man is known to all Baldurians and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Yep. Devala was right. Not just an imitator, but Saravok It is him himself. himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. This is Here so cool. Those who seek to transcend aspirants of his most profane order, the would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But these are not aspirants. You have brought traitors of Baal into our midst. As you stood a statue, Stone Lord, a helpless ornament, your city changed, warped, became ripe for the plucking. While you wriggled neath the city soil like the world oh, they that you are. They still talk, have dialogue, special my dialogue. To kill you twice, Saravok. The history they share may be long gone, but the threat of violence between them is as fresh as newly spilled blood. Neither party will let the other walk out of here alive. What purpose do you have in bringing this heretic to the court of Baal? Speak, or death will be your final word. So the guy who, who voice acted Saravok in the first game was Kevin Michael Richardson. They didn't get him to come back. 